solution, whether you have to do it more, whether you can just run away. Okay. Another thing is Islam. A sneaky punches from underneath. Why are they so good? Because people do not really see it uh, down below the chest anything. So once you're standing there, you don't need to gain, you don't need to raise your hand. Literally, your arm comes up from the point of your forearm, yeah, and you the strike direct strike, you can strike it into the solar plexus, but I always like the little twist once you reach the target. So it comes up and you just dive in, sort of striking it right inside the solar plexus. Next one, same thing, you raise it and then you're driving it through right into the floating rib area. Okay, same thing on the left. Raise a little drive from the point of your shoulder movement there. Or just that side. Okay. What that is guaranteeing you, and I'm not going to say that this is going to be 100% workable, but what I'm looking for, whether I know I can strike him down from one shot or not, what is guaranteeing me, watch, once I reach it to that point, it will be a sort of movement of his body. Okay? It will lean. It will lean downwards. Once it leans, he brings his face round right into my fist. Okay? Just look at it from that side. Standing there, I'm driving it through. Face is there. And that's all I need. See, I didn't move, I didn't do much. Because if I start moving, then I'm going to get involved. And I want to finish that one one point. And this is 100% workable because, you know, I have lots of experience with these little things. Yeah? There, there, you lead it. Same thing underneath. One, one. See, it's just giving you this chill. With the solar plexus, it's just going back a little bit. Once you drive it through the solar plexus, see, it comes up up here. You can lead it back with the strike. If your situation is nasty and you know maybe that individual has some sort of weapon on him, you go up and then you can go into the throat, obviously to try to limit his breathing. 